They're all in a big pile. Okay, here's some some flowers. Got him. He hit it. He hit it. He hit the flower. Oh, you got a walleye. You got a walleye. All right, guys, we are here below Minnehaha Falls. There's a bunch of carp loaded and stuck right in this dried up pool right here. So we've got some bread. We're gonna try to surface fish them, some worms and uh, some, some light line. We're gonna try to cast them. There's a whole school of them sitting right over there. there we go. All right, guys, I can see like 10 of them sitting right there. They're all in a big pile. I wanna get as close as I can. Cast right on top of them with this little piece of crust bread, which floats better than the uh, soft pieces. It's not good. There we go. Perfect. Right on top. There's some really shallow ones too. All right, that's a good spot right there. Just got an idea. I've seen all this grass. You see all this grass on this uh, wall here? I'm thinking because there's like no vegetation in here that these fish, they're looking for anything to eat. Um, and I grab some of that grass, I might chuck it on the surface in front of them, um, just like a clump of it on my hook, and they might eat that. They're not even looking at this bread here. Okay, here's some, some flowers. Let me go ahead and try this first. All about experience, experimenting. All right, there's our bait. got him he hit it he hit it he hit the flower dude okay i gotta get him out of the school he ate the flower dude i knew it would work i got eight pound test so i can't horse him i knew it'd work yes no it's a carp definitely a carp he, I saw him swim over. I didn't know if he ate it or not. And I saw him swim over. He definitely picked it up. Sweet. I'm gonna bring him over into this pool here. You can grab him. Just a little guy. Got him in the corner of the mouth. Skinny, dude. These things are starving in here. Here is the first fish. You can see corner of the mouth, he ate the flower. You gotta love when they squirm around. Get that little micro hook out of his, the corner of his mouth. There it is, it's out. Gosh dang it. Well, there he goes. But the water is cold. I'm assuming the temperature is dropping pretty fast in here because of the cold front we just had. But then you can see all this like, see all this like shiny stuff? All that's oil, or not oil, but it might be oil. I don't know, look at that. Nasty chemicals in this urban pond. Here is the falls at Minnehaha Falls that, are once, that were once flooding. I wasn't even recording in this little pike bit my grub. And now they're barely even dripping down. All these fish are just stuck in this tiny pool. They have no oxygen. This is literally all the oxygen that they have just coming in, which is barely anything. So that's why everything's lethargic. There's baby bass right here, bluegill, bunch of carp, suckers, and he thinks we saw one walleye, but there's nowhere to go unless the falls, falls start coming down again so the fish can get downstream, these fish are all gonna die. All right guys, gonna try another strategy. Got a clump of grass here. Don't know exactly how I'm gonna do this one. Just gonna try to tuck it all on my hook. There we go. And we're gonna see if we can get one to eat this. This is as, as natural as it gets right here. Looking for something, something that'll get their attention. Maybe we try these purple flowers here. Or else we can try these these green berries. There's red berries. There's all kinds of stuff we can try. Oh, you got a walleye! You got a walleye! Yeah, you got a walleye on, dude. No way! How did you get a walleye? Oh, it's a pike. You got the only pike in here. Looks like he swiped at it.
All right, guys, well, there's some weird ceremony going on. As you can hear, I have no idea what they're doing, but they're at Minnehaha Falls singing weird ceremony ritual stuff. I have no idea what's going on. I'm snagged. Bosky. 